Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the General Manager Speaker Series. I'm very pleased to say that we have Martin Leclerc from the Fairmont Empress who's launching our series. Some of you may know that Martin is the youngest GM in the history of the Empress Hotel, but some of you may not know that Martin is also a student. He is a student in our MBA program. He's completing his MBA with Royal Road, so we're very pleased to, to have him here today on campus. Um, if you could refrain from taking flash photos during the event, that would be great. And uh, we will have a question and answer period at the very end. So, Martin, we are your students today, and uh, the classroom's all yours. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much, Martin. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, can everyone hear me well? Okay. So first rule, if I say something that sounds funny, it's because it's not necessarily funny, it's because of my accent, so you're allowed to teach me my word of the day, all right? So uh, Margaret just hinted on the fact that um, I'm at the Fairmont Empress, and as you can tell with my accent, I was raised in the UK, uh, no, not. Um, and uh, you know, I joked when I first joined the Fairmont Empress when I said that uh, I was planning to change the afternoon tea service and trade the tea and the, and the uh, scones is for croissant and espresso. Um, I didn't tell that to a lot of people because it was causing a chain reaction, as you can appreciate. So, At any rate, uh, thank you very much for being here, everyone. Um, I'm, uh, delighted that, uh, uh, I'm delighted to be here and be spending some time with you today. I'm going to talk to you about, uh, um, I'm going to be good and follow instructions here. Margaret suggested that I talk about my career. Uh, my path, and uh, then I'll talk to you a little bit about um, my journey, and specifically in this past year and a half at the Fairmont Empress, because I think that, uh, you know, I've started at the Empress in November of 08, and that coincided with something that, you know, is called a collapse of the banking si system in a country down south, you know, uh, and, um, and obviously the impact on the luxury hotel business, tourism, and, and most industries uh, has been phenomenal. Uh, unprecedented times, that's for sure. So, are we good? Okay, excellent. So, um, my background, I'll spare you the, uh, the lawn mowing and the, uh, the painting of the, the, some roofs. I hated that um, when I was uh, younger. But uh, I, um, I started in this business um, mostly through food and beverage, you know. Um, in the hotel industry, we have, uh, obviously, we've got some specialized segments such as the casinos. But typically, you know, we all have a stigma. We're either from the food and beverage division, the rooms division, or now, you know, with, there's much more amplitude around, <coughs> around the spa division as well. So primarily three different divisions. Uh, mine, uh, my background, where I earned my stripes, uh, I guess, was in food and beverage, long hours. Um, and, uh, but lots of fun, you know. Um, I've worked in probably, uh, not in probably, I've worked in the finest restaurants of the, uh, the city of Quebec, in Quebec City. Um, you know, it, one, was, one of them was called A la Table de Serge Bruyère, which was uh, an absolute uh, uh, marvel, uh, no longer in operation today. I also worked in the worst possible bars that you could think of in Quebec City. The tips were very good, though. But, uh, you know, as some of you, uh, I've shared that with you before. I mean, I never told my mom I worked there. Um, and, then, um, and then I was working in a, in a very uh, fast-paced environment. It was a, a, a very, uh, it was a large pub, um, 550 seats, buffet, you know, and we would do about, uh, about 1,700 covers there uh, per, per night. So a very fast-paced environment. Um, and then my older brother was working in a very fine dining restaurant and a small inn as well, which uh, intrigued me. And uh, one day I, uh, I just went to that place. It was called the Baker's Inn, L'Auberge Baker, uh, sur la Côte de Beaupré. It's not too far from the Mont Saint-Anne. Those of you that have been to uh, Quebec City, you can maybe relate a little bit there. So uh, I, um, I started to work there and, uh, you know, it was a, a small fine dining restaurant, a, ba a banquet room, a bar, and seven rooms. And in the course of one night, you'd go down to the basement, you'd chop some wood, you come back up, walk by the pass, grab the soup for table number three, go back in there, welcome some guests, hang their coats, carry their luggage upstairs, come back down, mix some drinks. I loved it! <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I got hooked! I really enjoyed it, you know? And, um, 
And uh, you know what I'll do is uh, in the next few minutes here, I'll, every time you leave one place, I think it's important to go back and circle back, and um, and and reflect on the takeaway, right? So um, that's what I'll do here. So working at L'Auberge Baker was a uh, was really where I got hooked. As I said, it was a lot of fun, and. Um, the, uh, my takeaway there was actually the boss. Uh, she was really cute. Her name is Annie. And today she's my wife and the mother of our three kids. <laughs> and that's, a that's a true story. So she hired me. That's how we met. Um, and, um, you know, in our journey, uh, we have three children now. The first one was born in Quebec City. The second one in uh, Jasper. And the third one was actually born in Vancouver in 2000. So. Um, Go west, young man. I packed up my red Mustang and I drove west with my girlfriend, my wife today, and uh, ended up in Jasper, in Jasper Park Lodge. And uh, the timing, timing is everything, guys, you know. And I got there just in time for um, a uh, pretty serious, uh, um, you know, project of renovations, which coincided here in, in, uh, in 1989 with the Empress, actually, the, uh, the Royal Restoration and the Operation Teacup is our part of the history here in Victoria. Um, so it was throughout the portfolio of CP Hotels, and in Jasper, they've invested a whooping uh, $52 million over the course of a few years there. Uh, you can build a brand new hotel for that amount, you know. Um, ask Kevin Walker later if you want. Um, and, um, you know, the, um, the hotel there then was really dynamic, and it was moving away from a mo business model of being a seasonal hotel to being a year-round uh, hotel in operation. Uh, Jasper, great jewel. Show of hands, who's been there? Super. So that was my big playground, you know, and I worked there in food and beverage, got there as a server. I could say cold beer, nice legs and mustard at the time, and, uh, you know, I know, know a, couple of, a couple of more words, but, uh, um, you know, I, uh, with our experience of, uh, of fine dining out there, you know, uh, again, there was the opening of a, of a restaurant there called the Edith Cavell Dining Room. And again, the business model is now changing because this restaurant, it's spectacular. It's on the bank of the Beauvais Lake out there, and, and it's currently being converted into a three-meal-a-day uh, restaurant. However, I was the opening maitre d' of that restaurant, and, uh, you know, uh, I learned so much, you know. It was absolutely fantastic. So I stayed there uh, with Annie for about a year and a half, and then I just thought to myself, okay, well, you know what, this is what I want to do when I grow up, so uh, I'm going to go to school. So I uh, went to see my general manager, and uh, I'm sorry, my director of FNB, uh, Mr. Munson, and I said, uh, you know, I just came to tell you goodbye because I'm resigning. And, you know, and he said, well, why? I said, well, I'm going to school, you know, and, and, and you know, one day I'll, I'd like to pursue what I do here. So, okay, well, you know, good luck, all the best. And, the next day I got called in the GM's office. Now, you know, this is 1991. I get called in the GM's office. Oh my God, you know, we used to call that the long walk, you know? So I prepared myself for the long walk and I sat down there and, you know, and said, well, why are you leaving? What's going on? And so I explained that I wanted to go back to school. So well, why don't you go to Calgary? We have a great school there. I'm more comfortable in French, you know, so I'm going to Montreal, so. And then, um, then I was explained um, a, a very interesting opportunity, and it's, it was called at the time the Career Development Program with CP Hotels. So um, basically the general manager told me there that uh, they were going to uh, pay for my uh, education at university in exchange of which I would come back and work in the resort every summer. Um, and then after that, uh, you know, once upon graduation, I have to return and work for at least one year. And I got paid all the time there. So I'm like, just looking for the camera, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> me? Really? So, uh, you know, I accepted and that's how uh, the journey started. So I would go back to Montreal, um, study and work, and I've done all sorts of things there in restaurants, catering services. And I also worked at the Hotel Lowe's, um, at uh, Lowe's Hotels in downtown Montreal, Rue de la Montagne. Um, so, um, anyway, so I've done that, and then every time I would come back to Jasper, I, I was thrown a different challenge, you know. So, one summer, I was the major.